When I was a kid, there was no other computer I wanted more than an Amiga 4000T. I just thought it was really striking looking kind of space age with its blinking lights so you could see through the translucent front panel, but I couldn't afford that computer then and I can't even really afford it now. However, I decided to build something similar and that is a sleeper PC and you can see the before image here. I did add the window to the front that at least mimics a 4000T in terms of being able to see uh, the various hard drive lights and so forth through that front panel. And ended up pairing the system uh, with one of my favorite keyboards of all time, an IBM Model M and a 25 inch LED panel from Acer. So when we open up the front, you can see the various uh, drives and a number of these are removable hard drive caddies. And I've got two for uh, standard hard drives. These guys right here just pop on out. Um, you can also uh, just turn off the hard drive by pressing uh, these buttons and the light turns off. And when the hard drive is working, it flashes pink instead of blue, so it's very clear that it's active. And then above that, I've got four caddies for the solid state drives, and those will blink orange um, from green when they are active. Now in terms of opening up the solid state caddies, uh, you do need a key for that and then they just kind of pop on out and you can just take it from there. And when putting it back in, they, they just slide right into place and for the most part, uh, just click back into position. Sometimes a little tricky. I also added a Blu-ray player because, well, sometimes I might wanna use some older media or maybe play some Blu-rays. Uh, it does have a turbo button frequency display that I don't use it, but I do use the reset button as my primary power button as a momentary switch. Uh, it does have USB uh, 3.0 slots. A couple slots down here for floppies I don't use just for extra airflow. And then the um, rocker switch there, which is no longer in place. Uh, as far as closing the door, I put little magnets on here so it does snap uh, in place. Much better than the old switch that was in there. And the keyboard again is a Model M and I've got uh, the white keycaps on here that's from Unicomp. Really nice mechanical clicky keyboard. Uh, further going with the retro vintage motif here, I've got these Boston uh, BA635s which are pretty powerful for being such a, such a small speaker. Um, they produce some pretty good sound. Uh, the mouse is not really anything special, but I just went with a regular Microsoft mouse because it has that classic look, plus it's white, so it fits in with the rest of the system. And the lamp, the lamp is from Ikea. Um, I think it fits in pretty well with the rest of the system. So the back of the case, uh, so the, again, this was a vintage ATX case where I swapped out the front and added uh, the front of an AT case. But the back of it, uh, in order to prove airflow, I put a 120 millimeter fan in the back, which enlarged the uh, fan that was already there, put a couple 60 millimeter fans back in there as well, cut holes for that, and added those. I've got um, so my video card down here, and then I just took these and open up these slots in order to allow more airflow through there. It's a constant challenge with these older cases to get enough airflow uh, through them.
All right, let's take a look at the inside of the case. And this thing is, uh, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy steel, it's all one piece, so you can't just take off one of the sides. You gotta slide the whole thing off together. So in terms of cable management, I know this is not great, um, but uh, but it does get the job done. Plus, I knew this would always be covered. So um, got 4690K in here along with the 290X uh, video card. So um, when I put this together in 2015, it was top of the line. I realize it's not anymore, but primary concern being airflow with the 120 millimeter fan, bottom right and top left help, helps to uh, keep that air moving through the case. And it is a tall case. I mean, this is, you know, there's a full tower, mid 90s style full tower. So it is taller and skinnier than uh, most modern cases that you'll find out there today. And some heat, uh, quite a bit of heat actually does build up towards the top of the case, both from all of these drives and from the heat from below. So it, it is quite critical that that 120 millimeter fan uh, be, be uh, placed in back there. So I thought we'd go ahead and fire things up uh, quite literally here and uh, play a little bit of Doom. So as I wrap things up here guys, uh, thank you very much for watching as usual. Um, I have a number of builds, uh, sleeper builds and other computer uh, builds that I'm working on custom projects. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, please do come back and take a look at some of the other videos and, and maybe subscribe and see some of the future projects that I'm working on. Um, so this is uh, no no 4000 T, but I, I think that's quite all right. I'm quite pleased with the way this turned out.